Hey guys, what is up? Zero here, and welcome back to DDLC Summer Hope 2.0 demo. <laughs> so, in the last episode, we were introduced to basically, this is like the beginning of DDLC, but we now Monica is trying to set everything right. So we're going to work with Monica and make sure everyone is okay. <laughs> So, in the first episode, I was actually glad that people still watched it because it wasn't just because it wasn't a just not to give video. I was like, oh god, are people still gonna watch it? People still watched it, and I was happy, all right, because I'm not gonna stop making just not to give videos. It's just I didn't want to only make just just not to give videos. See, uh, just just not to, yeah, I get it, all right. I didn't want to only make those, so it's like I actually wanted to make other mods too. So, I wanted to have like an actual playthrough on the side when you know just not isn't really getting any big updates. I'm like, hey, I can do you know, I can record this, but yeah, I'm really glad you're enjoying it. Um, so the developer actually saw my video and he actually gave me some, he actually said some things and I don't know why, I just really like it when a developer sees my shit. <laughs> like, I don't know, like it just feels so nice when the mod developer of who, like the mod I'm playing is like has seen my video. I just, I feel nice. It feels nice to me. But yeah, he said that basically the beginning is, is just basically just the beginning of regular DLC with just a bit extra bit it's a, with, with some extra stuff thrown into it but they're important extra bits so see it's so me not cutting out the video or speeding things up see I did you guys a favor those things are important we have to remember that they're gonna be on the test all right so you better study but it's good. yeah anyway he said he was glad I was enjoying it and he says the changes become less and less minor as it goes on so basically the longer we go it's gonna start looking and feeling different, is basically what I guess what he's trying to say. Basically what he said, I don't know why I said trying to say. <laughs> but yeah, so, let's continue. He said shit gets gonna start changing, so let's go! Let's, 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 let's stop making a two minute fucking intro. <laughs> As they read in tandem, watch each of their expressions change. Nazi's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Oh, they're about to argue. <laughs> Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Uh-oh. <laughs> cute? Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. About feeling like the useless one. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Oh, wow. You mean you have to try hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, if it's analysis and critique you want, I do have a couple of suggestions. Hmm. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Okay, see, people always go on Yuri's side for this. Yuri's kind of being a jerk, too. <laughs> Because everyone's like, Natsuki's so mean to Yuri in this. I'm like, okay, not gonna lie. Yuri's not completely defenseless here. She's kind of being a dick. <laughs> like, they're both kind of in the wrong here. <laughs> I like someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it. And Zero did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time with establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly ex inspiring, which I haven't yet. See, that's like that's a fucking. It's so rude. <laughs> like what? And Zero liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. To be fair, I haven't read like any poetry, so any poem you show me, I would probably say I'm impressed by. <laughs> Nasuki suddenly stands up. Oh. I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Uh, eh, th that's not what I... Uh, y you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Zero appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Uh... Um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Zero started showing up. N Natsuki, what the? Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me. I just noticed I was standing there. 
Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Zero. She she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point of making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out of jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Zero. But wait, there's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Zero? Um... Well? Uh... How did I get dragged into this in the first? How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. I don't think Natsuki should be so aggressive towards Yuri, but I think it's wrong for Yuri to dismiss Natsuki's style so readily. Exactly! Whatever I do, I need to handle this carefully and diplomatically. Natsuki? You're right that I liked your poem. See? Wait. That's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. That's not what happened at all. Yuri wouldn't even take my poem seriously. Hmm. I understand. Yuri? Eh. <laughs> You're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. Well, that's... But here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they'll still, put, they'll still put feelings into it, and it becomes something really personal. That's why Natsuki felt threatened when you said her poem was cute. I see. I didn't notice that I... I'm sorry. Oh. But Natsuki, you took it way too far. I picked Yuri's side of this? No! <laughs> I thought this was a Natsuki mod! You lied to me, developer! You lied! <laughs> Yuri means well, and if you just told her how you felt, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did. It was her that... Natsuki, I think that's enough. Why are you being so horrible to Yuri? She apologized. Don't you think you should too? Whoa, hang on a second. Let's not all... Mm. Natsuki clenches her fist. Yeah, we're all jumping on her. In the end, nobody has taken her side. She's trapped, at this point being defiant only because she can't handle pressure. I feel like this could have gone better. God damn it. Um, sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to take a walk and clear my head. Not helpful. <laughs> Sayori, she doesn't need to... You know what? I'm going to go do that. It'll spare me from having to look at all your faces right now. Natsu... No, Natsu... I guess, yeah... Without warning, Natsuki s snatches her own poem up from the desk and storms out. On her way out, she crumples up the poem with her hands and throws it in the trash. Key. Natsuki. Why is she being li Why is she being like this? She really didn't need to do that. Yuri just looks depressed. My brow furrows. This wasn't supposed to be so one-sided. Now she stormed off and trashed her poem. I liked her poem. I really did. It was so simply written, but the message was powerful. I liked it too. Eagles Can Fly is a good poem. Fuck anyone else who says it isn't. <laughs> to hell with it. I'm going after her. Oh, shit! <laughs> Before anyone can reply, I scoop her crumpled poem out the trash and leave the classroom behind me. She hadn't made it far. As I round the corner, I spot her rooting around the, under the vending machine. The oh, she's getting quarter- Oh. What the hell is she doing? As soon as she sees me, she stands up and goes on the defensive immediately. B what the hell do you want? Haven't you done enough already? Natsuki, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for that to be so one-sided. Things got a little out of hand. It's true that you shouldn't have spoken to Yuri like that, but she disrespected you too. Your poem was good, you know? I produced the balled-up sheet from my pocket and unfurl it, taking care not to tear it. Yeah! Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try. But that's about it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. Uh... <laughs> Natsuki, this poem is about the feeling of, use of, of uselessness, isn't it? Seeing so many people around you achieving so much? Yeah, so what? Natsuki, do you feel useless? D dummy, don't come out and ask things like that. 
Do you even know what tact is? Uh... Yeah, she says this is where she starts sobbing uncontrollably. Oh, no, she's crying! <laughs> dummy, dummy, dummy! I'm such a... I place my head gently on her shoulder. Let's go back to the club room, okay? No, Yuri probably hates me now. I was such a bitch to her. Then apologize to her. At least try, right? I guess I can try. But that's about it. Hey, I was gonna say that. <laughs> but that's about it. <laughs> oh my god, that was so corny, you dummy. Was that supposed to be your way of cheering me up? Jeez. I can't help but break into a stupid grin and join in with Nazi's rec recuse laughter. <laughs> well, it worked, didn't it? Maybe. Shut up. I need a minute, okay? We sit on the benches for a good five minutes in silence once the laughter has subsided. It isn't an awkward silence as much, but as much as such, but each of us seem to be trying to find something to fill it. Natsuki sits there, swinging her legs back and forth with a half frown, half smile on her face that I just can't figure out. She eventually hops out of her seat and turns to me. Hey, Zero, why did you come and find me? Well, everything kind of ended on a sour note, and... I get that, I get that. What I mean is, why, you know, you? Why are you so concerned about me? She had a point. Monica and Sarah had been her friend longer than I have. What the hell made me just run out of there? I guess I should just be as honest as possible. I'm not sure. I just kind of felt like I should. I guess I was worried about you. Oh, wow. I should be honored. Zero was worried about little old me. Yeesh, you're welcome. <laughs> well, if you're so worried about me, why don't you take this? She takes a small slip of paper and jots something down on it. She holds it out to me at arm's length. Is this her number? It take I take the it, I, I it take the slip. I take the slip and unfold it. it. Appears to be a phone number. Hey, we got a phone number. My boy already going in though. This is. If you tell anyone I gave you this, I will end you. Alrighty then. <laughs> so if you get worried again, just text me. Or I don't know. Just text me, okay? I get it. <laughs> sure thing, Natsuki. Right. It's getting late. We better get back before the club finishes. Yeah, come on. Time to face the music, I guess. The exit music. Ah, okay. I'll, I'll stop. <laughs> as we re-entered the club room, everyone sat around, looking, so looking sullen. Yuri's head perked up as we re-entered the club room. Natsuki! The two girls lock eyes. Natsuki begins to tremble slightly. Yuri... I'm sorry, I... That was I such a... You know... Poor Natsuki can utter another word. Yuri marches up to her and hugs her tightly. Hey, Zero. I don't know what you said to her, but good job. We should probably give them some privacy to hash things out. You ready to walk home now? Yeah, let's go. Okay, everyone. I think that wraps up today's meeting. And don't forget to lock up, you two. As the three of us leave the classroom, we look back at Natsuki. Or as our eyes meet, she mouths the words, Thank you. I nod to her and turn to leave. Aw. Sayori. About what happened earlier. Eh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, 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 no. They're kind of BFFs. I've never, ever seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. I guess poetry brings a lot of emotion to the surface. They did seem pretty passionate about it. You don't... You don't hate them, do you? Why would I hate them? I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they make good friends with you. Phew. You know, Zero, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you, too. That's... Hee <laughs> hee. Every day is going to be so much fun. It's going to be interesting, at the very least. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an eternal monologue sometimes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm actually quite looking forward to this. Oh! I keep forgetting there's no poem in the game, so it just bah, <laughs> it cuts the black screen. My eyes burned from sleep deprivation and overconsumption of caffeine. I stayed up way too late last night. I'd only intended to send one message to Natsuki just so, I could, just so she had my number too. It quickly turned into a conversation that lasted pretty much all evening and into the night. Oh. She's almost a different person, different personality on the phone, using tons of emoji and cute language. Oh, see, that dialogue was taken from after the festival when you get her phone number to. Ah, I see what you did here, developer. You, you, you 
you're a pretty slick guy. <laughs> Cause yeah, cause now we have Natsuki's phone number earlier instead of until the festival. She also really likes complaining about things, but I kind of saw that one coming. <laughs> we ended up agreeing to meet up after class and walk to the club room together. Aw. So here I am. Stood outside class 3B. Well, see, like, it is changing, because now we're, like, waiting outside her class. I was quite surprised to find out that she was a third year, like the rest of the club. Apparently, I just missed her 18th birthday a couple days before I joined up. Ah, I see, so she is 18. <laughs> ah, see, thank you, developer. <laughs> Another confirmation, uh, a little slight confirmation in there. <laughs> I waited until about five minutes after the bell rang. Still no sign of her. Her club, her club room door was ajar, so I took a peek inside. Take a peek inside. There she is. Now she's just packing her books away. Class must have run, run over time. She looks pretty annoyed. Se seething, actually. Class is only five minutes late. Surely she's not that angry about it. Natsuki, a word if you please. Uh, oh no, it's a girl. Uh, Natsuki, a word if you please. <laughs> uh, yes, ma'am. I won't tolerate outbursts like that in my class any further. Do you understand? <laughs> but they started it. They stole my book. The teacher produces the item in question from her drawer and clearly having been confiscated. Confiscated. She looks down she looks down her nose at the cover. I can see it well, but there's a lot of pastel pink on it. Can't see it well, but she reads the title out loud. Cupcake Princess? Her face contorts with distaste as she says it and plops the manga volume onto the desk in front of Natsuki. Was this worth reacting the way you did? Using language like that? Yes, they took my stuff and started tossing it around and no one would help me. And in my defense, they are a pair of, they are a pair of con- <laughs> Miss Shirai! This is exactly the kind of immaturity I've come to expect from you. Shirai? Natsuki Shirai? That's interesting. I guess she has a last name now. I'm going to spare you the detention this once, because those two shouldn't have taken your belongings. But to shut my class again, and I'll see to it that you make up all that wasted time in your lunch breaks! <laughs> what is wrong with me? <laughs> Are we clear? I hope the teacher comes back as a pivotal role. <laughs> but they... They will be dealt with separately. <laughs> Only because Ashina's dad golf buddies with the principal. That's enough! You're walking a fine line right now. <laughs> Get out before I change my mind! I take the garbage with you! <laughs> she gestures the, to the manga on the table. Maybe Monica can find you some more mature reading material. It might do your attitude some good. Stifling any further protest, protest, Natsuki wordlessly grabs her book, turns, and heads for the door. Her eyes meet mine for a horrible moment and duck into the corridor. Uh, um, hey, Natsuki. What? Oh, the whole god, why did I sound like that? <laughs> what? Y you are ready for literature club? I've got parfait girls with me. Shall we go and read the next chapter? <laughs> sure. We start to walk towards the club room, up the stairs and past the vocational club classrooms. Nasuka's just been staring straight forward the entire time, not saying so much as a word. The tension's getting too much to, getting to be too much for me. I have to break the silence. I open my mouth without any kind of plan of what to say, and just a few awkward noises come out. <laughs> yeah, I'm so, so basically I just went, uh, 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 <laughs> You got something to say? I was just want, I just I was just wondering what happened back there. Is someone giving you trouble? I've got it under control, okay? Are you sure? You can talk to me about it if you like. Do you want me to say something to them? Do you want me to say something to them even? Uh, just no. What are you gonna do? Step in and be the big hero saving the damsel in distress? I don't need a knight in shining armor to save me, you know. I know. What do you mean, you know? <laughs> You're a strong girl, and you can take care of yourself. But you don't have to. That's what friends are for, right? Nice try, Zero. The people here are all the same. No one thinks I can do anything but myself. Everyone just treats me like a kid. With that, Natsuki enters the club room. Damn it, I just wanted to help her. I follow her inside. Come on, Natsuki, accept my love! I just want to help! Natsuki glances around. Monica is in the club room. And I thought we were late. <laughs> Ugh. Where's Monica anyway? Good question. Oh! So instead, oh, I just thought of that. So instead of us walking to its Sayori there in the whole cookie fiasco, we instead walk to the club room with Natsuki and Monica's not here. Good question. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm. 
That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She's probably just had something to do today. <laughs> or someone. Oh! Eh? <laughs> you don't think she... She has a... <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. He, yeah, that's true. Excuse me? <laughs> yeah, that's not true at all. <laughs> Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Oh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Eh? Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed. But boyfriend? <laughs> I wish. Monica quizzically glances at me. Uh, never mind that. <laughs> what held you up, anyway? Ah, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. Eh, <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You wouldn't have heard the bell ring, at least. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Uh, I don't, really. I kind of just started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool! You should play something for us, Monica. That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little better, I will. Yay! Sounds cool. I'd also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Zero. Ah! Monica just freaking peach side beat everyone off the stage! Ha-cha! Monica smiles sweetly. Uh... I ain't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently. And I'd really love the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So, I didn't miss anything, did I? You have to ask Yuri or Sayori. We weren't exactly on time either. Also, instead of skipping the cookie fiasco, because it didn't happen. I chose to leave out Natsuki's little altercation with her teacher. I should ask her about that later. I was so busy trying to get her out of there that I didn't think to inquire. Do they always treat her like that? It looks like everyone has already settled down for now. Sayori is conversing with Monica on the finer points of beginner piano. Yuri is back to her book, and Natsuki's looking over to me with a surprisingly analytical glare. Gaze. Why did I say glare? <laughs> it's not long before Natsuki comes up to me expectantly. Are we doing this or what? Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, I said I had it, didn't I? I pull the first volume of Parfait Girls out from my bag. Natsuki takes it from my hands and quickly turns it over, presumably to check for wrinkles. Hey, I'm not that careless. I handle manga all the time, you know. I just wanted to make sure. Can you blame me for being paranoid? I don't give people my manga every day, you know. That's true. I don't blame you. Well, anyway, let me put this one back. I'm gonna go get the next one, okay? Nasi makes her way to the closet. I follow. See, now this may look like vanilla, vanilla Natsuki cutscene, but it's okay, guys. It's not, because now, this is gonna be able to tell. Better, better remember. <laughs> this is all gonna come back to bite us in the ass. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. So you're gonna tell me everything you thought, right? Where did this volume leave off again? I forget. Uh, the chapter ended with Mino when Minori and Alice found... MONICA! When they found Monica? <laughs> Nasi's voice resonates from inside the classroom. That, does, that doesn't bode well. I peer inside. All of Nasi's books are lined up on the top shelf. Did you move my manga again? What? Oh shit, okay, the game like froze for a second when I clicked that. Uh, sorry, sorry. The teacher got mad at me for taking up so much space in her closet. So I had to move some stuff around and clean up a little bit. It's all still there. I just had to organize it a bit. Ugh. The top shelf is far above Natsuki's head. She makes a futile hop, trying to figure out how to reach her manga. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm moving these all back down. There's plenty of room on these shelves. And besides, they're really pretty to look at when they're all lined up. Why would you waste that on the top shelf? Uh, Natsuki... There's a stool on the wall right there. In the closet, there's a collapsible stool that's hanging on the wall. If you want, I can reach up there and hand them to you. Uh, what is it with you? Look at me, I'm Zero. Natsuki can't do anything for herself. Gee, I hope she doesn't swallow her tongue or something. Natsuki grabs a stool from the wall and unfolds it a little too violently. Hey, I don't also, I don't talk like that. All right, I don't care about you choking on your tongue, even though you, you should be careful. I don't want you to choke on your tongue, baby. <laughs> Not to go, yeah, uh, grab a stool. <laughs> what is it this time? You think I'm too short or something? I mean, in this particular case... <laughs> I knew it! Well, you know what? Just watch me. 
Okay, see, now this time, there's kind of some, like, leeway into this. Because this time we have the whole thing of, um, of her not being able to handle it herself, like, with the situation before. So now it makes a little bit more sense why she's so defensive here. Because, like, we're doing it again, basically, for her. It's like, oh, you're doing it again. You're thinking I can't handle myself again. So, yeah. See? 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 It all comes together. <laughs> Natsuki hops onto the stool, which ends up being a little wobbly because of its collapsible design. Uh. Careful. I know what I'm doing, jerk face. I'm not a jerk face. <laughs> Standing on the, so on the stool, Natsuki's fingertips reach the top shelf. Stool will be enough for me to easily grab the books, but Natsuki's being stubborn, as usual. Uh. Natsuki uses her fingers to scoot one of the smaller boxes to the edge of the shelf. See? Yeah! The box suddenly tips. Natsuki barely catches it before it falls to the floor. Stool wobbles. Uh, Losing balance, Natsuki hops off the stool. Thankfully, she was able to stay on her feet. She holds the box triumphantly. Woo! Stuck the landing! <laughs> Having almost fell, Natsuki's a bit shaken up. Jeez. Look, you don't need to prove yourself to me. But there's no way you'll be able to get the bigger boxes like that. I can reach them, so just... Ugh, are, how are you not getting this? I don't want your help, okay? Fine. I'm gonna get a chair, so just hang on. Natsuki forces her way past me out of the closet. Let's see. The classroom chairs have the desk attached, so they're too inconvenient to fit into the closet. Aha! Natsuki trots over to the teacher's desk, which has a computer chair behind it. She rolls it on its wheels back over to the closet. Uh, it's a little dangerous since the chair swivels and rolls. But I've already learned my lesson, so I keep my mouth shut. Ush! Natsuki climbs onto the chair and slowly balances onto her feet. Since she refuses my help, I take a seat with my back against the side of the doorway and simply watch. There it is. <laughs> Aha, there we go. See, I can easily do it now. Nasty grabs a stack of manga and bends down to put it on the shelf below. Whoa. The chair swivels. Nasty catches herself on the shelf. W what are you doing? Can you at least hold the chair steady instead of sitting and doing nothing? Wait, what? Who was it who told me not to help? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got you. I hold the chair while Natsuki reaches back up. Uh, I can... I can almost see up her skirt! Oh crap! I force myself to turn away. Natsuki seriously didn't think this through! Once she realizes, I'll be dead! Huh. Natsuki wraps her arms around the parfait girl's box set. He's the largest one on the shelf. Ah, uh, jeez, this is the big one. Hey, uh, Zero? I don't think I can bend down without falling. Hurry and take this one. Eh, but then I have to let go of the chair. That's fine. Just for a second. Hurry up. All right. Let me just stand up. I slowly release my grip from the chair. What do you mean, stand up? Natsuki looks down at me. Why are you all the way back? Oh, hell no! <laughs> oh, hell no. Natsuki looks like she just realized something, but she'll lose her balance if she moves. Natsuki, the box! W what in the hell are you looking at? Natsuki, the box! <laughs> You're trying to look at my... my... Natsuki's legs shake. Natsuki, the box! <laughs> you, you perv! You set me up! Go away! Get out! But, I'll do it myself! Ah! Not gonna lie, this is killing my voice. <laughs> the chair suddenly swivels beneath Natsuki's feet. Natsuki! Kya! The scene turns to chaos in a split second. The chair flies from under Natsuki's feet. Frantically, I try to catch her. The box topples out of her hands and the books go flying. I got you! Crash. No, crash! <laughs> the full force of Natsuki's body against me against me throws me to the ground. A whole bunch of books pelt me in the face. Natsuki tries to shield herself with her own arms as her face lands straight onto my chest. Ugh. The right arm on my back seriously felt the impact. Uh. Slowly, Natsuki comes to her senses. Kick! She presses her arm straight into me to prop herself up. Eh? Now it seems to realize that it's not the floor that's beneath her. G, G gross, gross. Gah! A hard punch from a powerful tiny fist strikes my chest. Now she then hoists herself to her feet. What were you thinking? You sick son of a! Everything okay over here? There? I hear. A I heard a loud noise. Monica suddenly peers in. Oh wow! Am I interrupting something? <laughs> Monica, see what happens when you put the manga on the top shelf. Are you trying to kill your club members or something? Jeez. Not this time, Natsuki. We're trying to save them now. <laughs> sorry, sorry. 
<laughs> oh, and one more thing. It seems like your most recent club member is a total pervert. So, I hope you're happy. Monica shoots me a disappointed look. Monica, Monica, I swear to God. To be fair, this looks really bad. I didn't do anything, I swear! I know, I know, don't worry. Monica says that quietly to me, her mouth contorting into a smirk as she wanders off. Looks like I'm off the hook. <laughs> oh no! My... my... Eh? I look down. Noski's kneeling on the floor, holding one of the books that are scatter scattered all over. There's a large diagonal crease along the page that she's desperately trying to smooth out. Ah, it must have landed on the page. Nasty tries a bit more to fix the crease, but she can't get it out. Suddenly, she gives up and slams the book shut and throws it to the floor. Instead of continuing to yell, she just lowers her head. <laughs> Natsuki? Are you- No! Natsuki's voice squeaks. So wait, is it like- No! <laughs> no, that's not like Mickey Mouse! <laughs> no! I see tears on her face. Ah. Uh, I hope get the crease out, okay? It's partially my fault, so... Natsuki shakes her head, still looking down. No. I don't even care that much. I'm just... Having a really bad day today. Nasty sobs again. I didn't mean to take it out on you. I really didn't mean to. All you've done all day is be nice to me and try to help me. Once again, I've just been a total bitch. It's all I ever do. Why do you even hang out with me? It's... it's fine. Is there anything you want to talk about? Nasty shakes her head. Just... Every day... It's so hard. In class... At home... At home? What? I just want to... Come to the club and... Nasuke falls silent again. I can't press her, so I can only do what I know how to do. Alright. Well, I'll help clean this up. And I'll move the rest of your manga for you. Uh... I'll pick the up dime two of Parfait Girls. We'll set this one aside. This will help you cheer you up a bit, right? I've been looking forward to this all day. Nasuke looks up with her glossy eyes. Her lip quivers. You're... You're a really sweet guy, you know? Huh? That sounds really strange, coming from Natsuki. I didn't expect it at all, and I end up blushing up to my ears. My chest feels tight. Why am I so nervous all of a sudden? Well, that's the power of love, baby! <laughs> I'm just treating you like a friend, you know? Mm, a friend, huh? Natsuki lowers her head and stifles another sob. After seeing what she went through in class today, being nice is the least I could do. What does she mean about home? Thinking about it gives me a feeling of dread that I just can't shake. A couple of minutes are silent between us as I begin gathering the scattered books. I make sure to slip them into the box in their correct order. After a little bit, Natsuki starts helping. It isn't long before we're done, and I hoist the box onto the shelf where Natsuki wanted to put it. Then I get on the stool and quickly finish moving the rest of her books from the top shelf. Alright, that should do it. I hop off the stool. Natsuki averts her gaze. Thanks. <laughs> it's nothing. Noski's holding the volume I set aside in her hands. Alright, I'm ready. Good. Even if you weren't, I'd make you anyway. You're taking responsibility for what you said. The thing about cheering me up. <laughs> if you insist. Oh, and Zero? Hmm? Did you really, you know, not look up my skirt? No, ma'am. I did not. Heh. <laughs> Your loss. Oh! What? <laughs> we sit in the same spot as last time and open the second volume. Natsuki's mood, qu Natsuki's mood quickly improves, laughing and pointing things out to me. She's surprisingly sharp, making note of a lot of subtle repeated jokes and background elements. In the end, I'm pretty impressed by everything ties together in this manga. I guess Natsuki has good taste after all. After some time, Monica gets our, atten Monica gets our attention as usual, and it's time to share poems again. I guess I'll be holding on to this for now. Yep. Even you sound more enthusiastic this time. Well, I'm starting to get into it, you know? Hehe. <laughs> Told you. Yeah, yeah. I return to my seat and slip the, slip, slip the book into my bag. Okay, everyone. Uh, you may have something different, Monica, but I'm ending the episode. <laughs> because we are up to like 35 minutes. Jeez, these episodes have been so long. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm into the mod. <laughs> And also, I want to give you guys, like, the reason why I'm also making these episodes longer is because I feel like I'm not giving you enough new content with this because a lot of it is vanilla DDLC with slight changes. So it's like, I want to get through it as much as I can. And then once really the real new shit starts happening, then there you go. Yeah, so it's like, I just want to get to the festival, which we're almost there. 
But yeah, but still, even even still, I like I enjoy the changes this mod has, and I enjoy the writing. This mod's really really cool. I like it, and I hope you guys are enjoying it too. Uh, if you want to play it again, link is in the description. You can play it for yourself and have a grand old time. Because I'm I'm having a good time, and also now I think we're starting to see the Natsuki aspects of the mod. I feel like episode one, you kind of got some Natsuki. This time you're starting to see, yeah, Natsuki's the focus of this. But she's not just the focus. She's, from what it looks like, we're still focusing on the other characters a bit more. Like, I think we're still going to focus on everyone else. I don't think we're just, we're still going to try to help everybody, from what I could see from when we talked to Monica. So it's kind of like, yeah, like, we're helping everyone. And I like those mods, you know? So, anyway... That is the, I'm gonna stop rambling, end the episode. That is the end of this episode. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. This is Zero, signing off. Peace. I'm a chef chef food, at masquerade.